Let's take a look at some of the new features in Alias 2018. Firstly, you can now customise the clutch keys that we use for viewing, snapping and marking menus. Through the Preferences menu, for each of the functions, you can now assign any of the control key combinations. And this is particularly useful if you regularly switch between different software packages. In Modelling, Skin with Proportional Crown now has a new shape slider added. And this creates two rows of CVs in the centre of the surface that can move either inwards or outwards to control the profile shape. There's also a new option to turn off these yellow in-canvas controls if you prefer to work with a less cluttered screen. In Surface Fillet, there's a new option added to Explicit Control, which now optimises the degree as well as the number of spans or segments. So if I apply max spans degree here, then I can reduce the number of CVs needed for each surface. There's also a new intercontinuity check which measures between the segments. So here I can fix this small problem straight away just by using the Move CV tool set to normal, rather than it becoming an issue later on. And that check has also been applied to MS Draft with the new intersurface continuity option. So here we've got tangency, but up here it's highlighting an error. And if I now go to build the other side of this component, and I want to mirror the draft angle, there's now a new flip angle button which saves me having to move my focus to the keyboard to type in negative numbers. For complex surfaces like this sunshade, a lot of the laborious clicking needed to trim a surface has been eliminated in 2018. So now, if you use untrim and retrim, then the surface remembers all the regions that you previously selected. So if, for example, I wanted to add an extra line to the design, then I could project on some new curves. And then, when I go to trim again, it's remembered all my previous clicks. So now all I have to do is add the new regions created by my new curves. In the Curve Planarize tool, there's a new view option added which now makes it consistent with the view option in Planarize Hull. And this is a really easy way to keep discipline in my curves. So I just set the view up and then apply the Curve Planarize with the view option. And this flattens the curve to that view plane, which, if I take a look now and move the view around, gives the curve a nice, strong, planar shape. And finally, layers. When I use Copy and then Paste, and I use the Always Ask option, now in 2018 the layer list is scrollable, and also the colours and status are displayed in the same way as they are in the Object Lister. Now layer colours can be a problem in a dark colour scheme like this, so there are new random layer colour tools. Now I can clear the layer colours, and then when I apply some random colours, I've now got control over the hue and the saturation so that I can tune the layer colours much better to the background that I'm using. And all of those tools will work on just a selection of layers as well. So finally, here's a few of the other improvements you'll find in Alias Auto Studio 2018.